Hello angels, queens and babies, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Emma Rose Hamilton and this is my Tranquil Vibe channel. Welcome to the third video of graduation. As you can tell, you're probably like Emma, this is a very husky start to a video. It's actually, we've actually been in Leeds for a day now. We went out drinking last night and it's the morning of my graduation right now. And I am rough. Not fully rough, but like my voice is a bit croaky. My eyes, I've never had bloodshot eyes, of course, when I'm getting pictures today. My eyes are now bloodshot, so that's fantastic. But I will be keeping hydrated throughout this process. Don't mind James asleep. Can't quite see him, but he's this <laughs> lumpier. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get ready for my graduation. I thought I'd take you along for it, so I'll stick around if you wanna see more. So I read on TikTok, TikTok, oh my god, this is going to be the worst get ready you've ever seen. I'm half croaky, half sleep, banging headache, and TikTok apparently. Um, I saw on TikTok that you're meant to leave like quite a lot of time between your skincare and then your makeup. So I did my skincare about five, six minutes ago. Um, and now I'm going to use primer and then I'm going to leave, try and leave this for a couple of minutes just because I don't want my makeup coming off. So this lady said, she was like a famous makeup artist, and she said that, um, oh, she also said too much product, which is exactly what I've just done, but, um, yeah, she said that you need to let let your skincare sit and settle, and then put makeup on, because obviously if you're gonna be, if you put it on straight away, it's all gonna melt together, which makes perfect sense, but, I mean, it doesn't mean I don't do it still. Do you know what I mean? I'm still doing it. So I'm gonna let that sit for, Five minutes, gonna go wet my sponges, Lumi Cosmetic sponges, use code MH20 for 20% off. And I'll see you in about five minutes just to let that settle in. My skin felt quite nice this one. There is a bit of a break out here. And I think there's just black under my eye, but I think that's um left on with over mascara. I have cleaned my face, I cleansed before I did any skincare. But I think we can cover that with stuff. We can cover that with makeup. But we need to get going because I've got Maz's makeup to do as well and my hair. These are leftover curls from yesterday, but they lasted quite well considering I have not had hairspray yesterday. Not bad. But yeah, I'm thinking hair needs to be down, so we have a hat on. I'm getting excited now. Go, I am hoping this is gonna be quite a quick get ready with me as well. Because it's now half seven. I got up about half an hour ago. I've just kind of been um you know, I've showered, trying to pull myself together because I do feel I'm not fully hungover, but you know, you're just a bit groggy, a bit. Sorry. Everyone's messaging, everyone's awake. But yeah, I don't want to be like rushing around, so I kind of want to like get this done. I really want to do Maz's makeup for her. So um, yeah, I'm just going to try and get ready quite quickly. And still look. The lamp, my eyes are so much I can't believe it. Um, I'm just looking in the mirror behind you, by the way, so if I look like I'm looking off into the distance, that's why. So yeah, we're just in a premiere in. Here's the background, sorry if it's a bit dark, a bit weird. Um, but, yeah, so we're staying here for two nights. Graduation today. How am I feeling about it? I don't know. I don't really know how you're meant to feel. Like, am I meant to be like, excited? I'm excited. I'm excited to, like, see everyone. I don't really know how I'm feeling. Like, I'm not really nervous. Buzzing. Like, I'm, I'm happy to, for the celebration. But um, if anyone wants to know what this is, this is my absolute lifesaver for all of life. And it is Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury. And it's just kind of like this glow that you put on under your makeup. And it is just beautiful. Um, this is my darker shade to match my tan. I do have a lighter one. I think it's 2.5. And this is 5 tan. Um, so I'm just going to go with dark today for Gradu. And do you ever feel like, do you know what's the longest part of makeup for me? It's actually the prep. I feel like once I actually start doing my makeup, it doesn't really take that long anymore. Um, but I've got a couple of new little bits that I want to show you that I've been doing with my makeup recently. Um, just it's like been making a little bit of difference and I've been absolutely loving. So if you can't hear me by the way, I'm really like, absolutely love that spot in the middle of my brow. Oh, that's really nice for me. First thing I'm going to do that's a little bit different is as followed. Um, so I actually have like a blemish on my nose up here. You won't be able to see. You genuinely can't see. But 
it's there, I promise. So what I do is I just take a bit of concealer before I put foundation. This is probably the wrong shade because this will be super light. That's way too much as well. And I actually just kind of like colour it in. And I, I find it's just been helping me kind of um, contour my nose a bit better as well because then I'm, I'm starting on a blank canvas rather than like loads underneath, if you get what I mean. So it's like blurred out my nose. Really should have plucked my eyebrows with all this what you get, but it didn't happen. It didn't happen. I'm just gonna blend that in. So like the top of my nose has disappeared. It's just to kind of get rid of that blemish. But yeah, I'm definitely excited, but I'm just like I don't really know what to expect. This isn't my full graduation either. We've got another one after this, and um, like the official one. This is just like an unofficial like getting our picks, which is all I'm interested in really. So that's absolutely fine with me. Right, what next? What do I find when you're doing your makeup for something? You're like, how do I do my makeup? Because that's how I feel. Next, yesterday I made some purchases from Harvey Nichols. I wanted to have a little spending spree yesterday, so I got some stuff from Zara and then some stuff from Harvey Nichols. And I have repurchased my foundation. Oh, that feels big. Could you give me a shade buff? Yeah. And concealer, Laura Mercier, because. I don't know, but my eyes started flaring up again. I don't know if it's because I am, um, my makeup blushes aren't clean. I don't know if my makeup's out of date. Maybe it's that. I really don't know. So I thought, right, it's time to repurchase. Everything's running out at the same time, of course. Um, but this is the foundation I use. It's my saviour. I always get compliments on this one. I mean, it is matte. You know me, I'm a glow. It is matte, and you know me, I am a glowy girl. But somehow, like, this is the one I always get compliments on, like, Whenever I'm wearing this foundation, everyone's like, what foundation's that? And not, not the glowy one. So people must love it. But then again, I've got the glow from the Love Filter. Yes, this isn't actually the official graduation, which is kind of fun. Yeah, that was a much better match. I had my light foundation on yesterday with my can, and it just was not good. I'm gonna try and go for that less is more thing today. Because I don't really want to like cake myself in makeup for a graduate. And like, what's the situation with lashes? Like, I don't think my sister wore lashes to a graduation, but like, am I really going to an event without lashes on? Do you know what I mean? So now I just feel a bit weird. So I'm, I've just bought like a nice little neutral lash, like a, a teeny lash. So I'm not fully, not fully like glam lashed up. Also, this is very overexposed. I don't look this crazy in real life. I hope not. Yes, yeah, so I was like, are people wearing lashes? But everyone said they are, so I've just got some like little ones. I'm just gonna look in this mirror to make sure I look alright. See, I didn't use much then, and that, that freaks me out. Like, my face is covered. Do you know what I mean? I'm used to putting so much on. Should I do smart? I'm gonna do smart. I get nervous. I could I could have left it there, but I didn't. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's less more. I don't know. I'll put it on my chin. I got nervous. Yeah, I'm trying to do that less is more look, but. I'm so used to caking it on. I, 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 don't, I just can't do it. But obviously, like, I'm saying, like, I don't know what to expect. I don't know what it's going to be. Um, there will be a vlog coming out on Sunday, which will show the whole thing, because I've been vlogging already. I don't even know what I vlog, but I hope it's good. I really do. Um, I'm not going to use much of this, just because I've got my Tarte Tape Shape, and obviously she's crazy good for coverage. Um, but I might just pop a bit of this on beforehand, just for a bit of, oh, look at the new, we love the new. So I get it in 0.5N, which is like one of the lightest shades, and it's just to give a little boom boom, you know. These eyes need all the help we can get. <laughs> It feels really nice. I haven't used this in ages because mine's literally been running out for ages. It's nice to actually have product. Oh, my eyes, I'm literally hanging. What am I going to do? I'm literally hanging like, am I just going to have to get my pics with bloody red eyeballs? It looks like that's the curve. This sponge feels so nice as well because I'm hanging. Nice cold sponge. <laughs> Damp sponge on my face is feeling really nice. Oh, that's nice and natural, isn't it? 
you know when the lighting's just a bit weird like I can't actually tell what I'm doing but we're just gonna just gonna roll with it and hope for the best I am gonna put a little bit of tart just under my eyes just to brighten them up give a little pop also if you're thinking of poor dreams for um having to deal with me do my makeup whilst he's asleep he has agreed I'm not slagging you off he did say he is asleep but just so you know um he did say yeah that's fine I said I'm okay I did tell him I was filming in the morning, but yeah, we were out till about 12, well, we were in bed at midnight. We were, oh, I can't believe I'll rip my eyes off. Yeah, so basically you have to be there at like 10 a.m. Um, you have to sign, I don't know, it's, it just seems very complicated. Anyone that's been to a graduation, please can you confirm that they're complicated because you have to like sign in, I have to print something out with a QR code on. If it's got a QR code on, why am I printing it out? I thought the whole point of a QR code was you don't have to print it out. And then we're getting our official pictures but we don't walk across the stage which is fine um, and then i think it's like non-alcoholic beverages on the grass non-alcoholic being the key word there i'm confused about that oh this is the new branding thing so i saw another person on tiktok say that um if you use like your foundation brush which this isn't a foundation brush but like i know it has foundation in it and just use this to do cream con cream bronze instead of like drawing a stick it just gives a more like fluffy look and i've been really enjoying it he said i always put it higher than you think so i've been putting it up here and i've been enjoying the fluffiness it's been doing good things for me so thank you for that tip on tiktok yeah i've been loving that yeah, so the non-alcoholic thing is kind of throwing me off, like, what's that about? Ooh, I nearly forgot. I've got a new trick with my nose as well. I really have been contouring my nose recently, because if you don't know me, I'm not secure about my nose. I'm insecure, I mean, not secure. Um, I've never really liked my nose. I've got to a point where I've accepted it now, like, it's not, like, a, an issue. I don't cry about it. Um, but I saw this on TikTok. I'm really nervous to show you because I don't know if it actually works or makes it look nice, but I've been doing it and it makes me feel good, so that's enough for me. Do I just kind of, like, draw that on my nose? Can it kind of just make it a bit skinnier? Once the full process is done, it does actually work, I think. See? Kind of, kind of smaller. And then obviously we go over it with like powder and stuff. But yeah, I just thought that was like a fun little thing I've been doing. Just to get that skinny nose look. It's been really nice to see my friends so far as well. So I'll get to meet everyone today who I haven't seen in like a year. Um, but I got to see Anna and molly last night which was so fun and we ended up like drinking a bit more than we should have just because like you know you haven't seen your friends in ages and you're just getting i don't feel the party spirit that often and it's probably because i'm not in the city anymore like i just i'm not interested in going out and drinking oh my god she's a mom um but as soon as i'm with my friends like i'm just like right let's party like in the city i'm like right time to party Okay, let's get this girl plucked in. Yeah, I just really wanted to party. Like, we went to Turtle Turtle, which you know is my favourite place. That's Turtle Bay for anyone that doesn't know. Um, which is my ultimate favourite place to go. And as soon as we got in there, I was like, yeah, I'm ready to party now. And it was just so fun. Still my favourite brush to this day and it's the Lumi Cosmetics bronzing brush. She's gonna focus and she's upside down. Um, so make sure you use code Emma H20 for 20% off. I know I've already said that in this video, it's not sponsored, she doesn't pay me to say that. Um, it's just off my own back and I really do love her products. She's just got, just got some new lashes actually, let's speak about that. Because I wanted to get some for my bloody graduation and she's sold out, sorry for being a business queen. like bloody sold out so um i've been told by a couple of different people now that um thora i think it's thora and rain are both really good soft glam so if you haven't had your grad due yet and you're wanting like a soft glam lash i've been told that they're meant to be really good for soft glam so i do want to try and get my hands on some um 
but I've just not been able to recently because they've just been sold out. The girl, the business girls are just doing a bit too well for the liking. And then my favourite blush, which was recommended by Emily Bros and Beebs, um, is the Life's a Peach. Super pigmented, super affordable. It, affordable, affordable. It's um, Laura, it's L'Oreal. So it's super affordable. You can get it in super drug or like boots, anywhere like that. And it's my favourite at the moment. It's still very mature, like a rosy peach for my graduate, do you know what I mean? Instead of like pink. It's like, I'm a mature peach now. I graduated a year ago. She went overboard, but it's all right. Okay, on to the eyeballs. I'm nearly finished, which I'm, I'm kind of happy about. Um, So I've just been following what B Pool told me to do, which is, you'll have seen her in a video before she did my makeup. Emmy Way does my makeup. That's our BP. Um, and what she does is she just uses a, a soft lip liner and just kind of runs across the lash line, which I'm going to do with brown because black is not in. We were saying the other day, I was chatting with her actually, we've just done an acting project together. And we were just saying like, isn't it weird how trends come in and out? Like it used to be like black liner, like black wing. And now I wouldn't even dare to put black on my eyelid. I would just always brown. Another trick I've learned, because I've got like hooded eyes, you meant to just kind of look forward and do the wing and then connect it. And it supposedly gives you the right shape. You're a bit blurry, but what I like about this is you don't have to be like the neatest, because I'm going to go over it anyways and kind of fill it in. Um, but yeah, that seems to be working for me, because then look, I've still got the wing and it's not like hidden. So I'm just going to do the same on this side. So we've got two very shit wings there. But that's okay because we can improve them. And then I'm just going to go in my little Charlotte Tilbury palette. And this is looking like bronzy colour. And I'm just going to go over it. So this is all techniques that B has taught me. You meant to just do this and wiggle. But I kind of just pack it on and hope for the best. And that's why I'm not the professional. What I've been doing for the rest of my eyeshadow, I don't really do much anymore, is I might actually just pack down some powder just because I can see that my eyeball is creasing. And then all I do is I go in with this nice glittery champagne colour and I love to apply it just under here. I saw this on TikTok as well, as you can tell I've been watching a lot of TikTok. It just kind of opens my eyeball up. So I'm putting it there. You can do this with highlight as well. I sometimes use highlight, but I want to be extra glittery today. Oh, this is what I would needed. Just smoking out the lash a little. The um, eyeliner. Much better. There we go. Yeah, so basically, me and James love being in Leeds. Like, as soon as we're here, we're like, we want to move back. Like, that's it, we're moving back. Obviously, travel isn't really a possibility at the moment. So, we're kind of keeping an eye on things. But we've kind of said, like, January is when we're doing whatever we're doing. And we've got a couple of different options that we might end up doing. So... One of them is going to be getting a lease on a flat for six months and living in Leeds. Um, just because we want to be in the city. Or we might go to America. Or we might go to Europe. We just don't know. We've just got lots of plans. We, just, we don't know what we want at the moment. Obviously with Covid, we haven't got a clue what's going on, where you're allowed, what you're not allowed to do. It's all very here and there, isn't it? So we, we're trying to think of every option, basically. But just being in Leeds, we're like, yeah, we want to rent a flat now. Like, we literally want to do everything now. But I'm about to see the worst part, lashes. And I've tried almost just as lashes the other night, right? I went to a wedding night too, which was really lovely. Um, and I didn't have any lashes. And I tried on TL Thaws. TL Thaws, you should have seen them. They were like these massive, fat slugs on my face. I hated them. 
Um, but isn't it weird, like I used to love a massive lash and now I'm really not into it. So I tried on my sister's half lash and I absolutely loved it. So I brought like the teeniest lash and I think I'm gonna try some more. And I've been loving, it was really odd at first cause like it just looked so different to what I'm used to on my, on my eye. And it was actually really lovely, like super natural, but give you that like fluttery like look, which was lovely. So now I've been kind of like, when I do mascara, I kind of like brush it out to the side rather than going up. I don't know if it's actually making a difference, but I just kind of like brush it to the side. Does anyone else see that? Did you see that? I went, do you ever like pause and see how you're looking? You just need to check it to see what other people are going to be seeing. <laughs> Does anyone clock that? I've just been absolutely exposed. I can't help, I post myself all the time. We've not been hydrated enough. I'm feeling like I'm warming up. The more I do it, the more I've been here, I'm, I am like warming up. I'm feeling better. Um, lashes. Highlight lips. Done. Is that me done? Oh my god, well done, Emma. What time are we on? Eight o'clock. Nice one. I wonder why I look dusty. I didn't really brush that off. So I think it does make a difference with the nose. Like it's feeling a lot nicer at the moment. I am enjoying how my nose looks. Um, just a bit here, a bit under the eye. And that is the complete look for now. I'm gonna do my lips a bit late because obviously it's like 8 a.m. I don't need to be putting lips on right now, but I will come back with the final product. I'll have my dress on, I'll get fully ready, and I'll see you later. And here is the final Look, he's awake now everybody. You were in the back of the video the whole time just asleep. <laughs> we don't mind. Um, but here is the final look. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've perked up now as well. James said he's not hungover, so now I'm not hungover. Um, but that is the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed this little graduation get ready with me. I post new content every single Wednesday and Sunday at 6pm, so make sure you to come along if you want to see some more. And I will see you soon with another video. Bye.